Welcome back. We are here on eTour looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 10, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we are trading at 47,157. So we broke all time highs record, uh, basically today, at roughly 47,979. At this point, we are going towards 50,000. Um, reason for that is basically this consolidation area here. So we have a flag pattern here, and usually what basically happened after that, we basically rallied to the upside. So we are we traded between 40,000 and 30,000, 10,000 points, and that basically means that we will most likely rally towards uh, 50,000. Before that, we most likely will see a uh, pullback towards 40,000 or these previous highs here before we go towards 50. So Bitcoin is rallying um, and is basically taking all the other cryptocurrency with it uh, usually that is this is the leading uh, cryptocurrency and uh, and yes people are just uh, pumping money into this market we are getting fairly overstretched technical indicators are still very bullish but the rsi here is at 74 we can also look at the bullinger band for example and we can see that we are way outside of the bullinger band even here we did not go this far outside of the bullinger band so a pullback towards 40,000, that is very likely at this point. And uh, we'll have the 20 exponential coming this way, the 20 simple, and the 50 also traveling this way. And they will offer uh, quite a lot of support. But 40,000, that is very likely that we're going towards that level. That gives opportunity to buy towards 50,000. So no interest in basically selling this whatsoever. This is a different market than back in 2017. Major corporations, major companies uh, are basically putting um, value into this market. And as long as that is the case, this will just continue to go significantly higher. So let's look at the Ethereum. No, sorry. There. So as you can see, we have also rallied a little bit down today. It has not been outperforming Bitcoin as it uh, previous uh, has been the last few trading days. So Bitcoin was basically falling in towards a, a flag pattern while this has just continued to rally. 20 exponential is uh, the bottom of this market. A pullback towards the 20 is major buying opportunities. So I do believe as uh, Bitcoin will fall towards 40,000, this will fall toward 15,000. The market is due to a, a small pullback in the next few trading days. When, it, when that will happen um, is unclear at this point, but both indices, stocks, and so on have been rallying ridiculously in the last few trading days. And that usually leads to a minor pullback before we go higher. The same will happen here. It will most likely fall back towards the 20 exponential or 1500 level uh, before continuing higher towards um, 1800, 1900, and then 2000. No one's just basically selling this whatsoever. As long as Bitcoin will rally, as long as the companies will put money into Bitcoin, this will also continue rallying. Um, technical indicators are very they're fairly bullish. The stochastic is not that bullish, but MACD is, CCR is, and the RSI is. We're also on the edge of being overbought. We did go outside of the Bollinger Band and pull back a little bit, but at this point, when Bitcoin starts falling towards 40,000, this will most likely fall towards 15,000, where we'll find major support. So let's look at ADA. Cardano. So... We have been going back and forward. This will have a very drastic fall when when Bitcoin and Ethereum and all the other ones uh, can uh, start falling. It will most likely fall towards the 0 0.50. So it will lose uh, a ton of value, uh, roughly 25 to 
30% of its value will drop at that point. So we'll drop to roughly 0.50. This just above the 20 exponential. We are significantly overstretched here, They're overbought, and technical indicators like the CCI have already started showing signs of weakness here. When it crosses 100 towards a zero, we will see this fall, and that will happen quite drastically, like we saw back, uh, roughly a month ago when the cryptocurrency market fell by 25 to 30 percent in one day. Um, this is one of the newer cryptocurrencies, uh, less valuable to be, uh, to be fair honest at this point. So it's also going to be very volatile when it basically falls. But it is, um, the people have very high hopes for exactly this cryptocurrency as a new generation um, that will most likely uh, outperform uh, Ethereum in the future, in the long term. There are, um, well, more possibilities, you can say, it, with this uh, uh, cryptocurrency than there are with Ethereum, which is it is its uh, major competitor. So at this point, I'm waiting for a pullback towards 0 0.50 in order to buy this for most likely the long term. So let's look at uh, Litcoin. So Litcoin has been doing really well. We're getting very overstretched here. We also have a very similar flag pattern here as we saw in, in Bitcoin. So this consolidation area is between 184 all the way down to 120 to roughly 60, 60, uh, 64 dollars to the upside before above this so we may see this uh, rally up to 250 if we break the, the top of this candlestick but at before then i think we're going to see this fall back towards 150 that is most likely what's going to happen here so if bitcoin starts falling this will most likely fall towards 150 and that's your base to your buying opportunity we will have the 20 exponential moving average, the 50 moving average going up this way, and uh, we'll fall back here and then continue rallying to the upside. If we take out this top, then we're most likely going towards 200 first and then 250 before pulling major uh, major pullback. Technical indicators are still very bullish for this. There's room to the upside in the daily chart. There are only a 65. And that's fairly low for cryptocurrencies. So let's look at NEO. So as you can see, we have rallied ridiculously today. This is just going to drop uh, like a rock back towards, uh, give or take, around the top of this candlestick here, around the 20, 28, or probably all the way down to $25. Uh, dollars. So we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. We are overbought here. Technical indicators are still bullish, but expect a pullback from here. To buy it at this stage is it is uh, ludicrous to be fair and honest. Last time we were outside of the bullish band was right here. We fell from 28 all the way down to 20. We can see the same happened right here. We fell from 21 all the way down towards 12. Same here, 25, and you can say all the way down to 13. So at this point, pull back towards, give or take, the previous highs here. Uh, we'll fall even further than that. But I would say around $25 where you can basically start buying this again. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to, buy, uh, welcome to support us by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest video. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.